Hi, I'm Dr. Greg Karb, and this video is cannabidiol, or CBD, for neuropathic nerve pain. The questions answered in this video are, what is cannabidiol, or CBD? Where does CBD come from? When is CBD legal? How can CBD be available? Why would you want CBD? And which is a great CBD product? So let's start with what is cannabidiol or CBD. First, we have the whole Cannabacae plant family from which we get the genus Cannabis, from which we get Cannabis sativa, which contains dozens of cannabinoid acids, which we put through the process of decarboxylation, usually involving heat and time, and then we get cannabidiol or CBD. And this is the CBD molecule. So where does CBD come from? The sources are hemp, marijuana, or synthetic. Hemp and marijuana are different varieties of the cannabis plant based on THC content. THC is the so-called psychoactive component of cannabis. Hemp has been cultivated to have 0.3% or less THC, while marijuana has been cultivated to have much higher levels of THC. The trace amount of THC in hemp is like the trace amount of opium in poppy seeds in that you cannot possibly get high with normal use of either one. Synthetic CBD is made in a laboratory somewhere and is only as safe and reliable as the people making it, which is why the FDA issued a warning about the significant health risks of contaminated illegal synthetic cannabinoid products. Next, we'll consider when is CBD legal? All hemp-derived products are federally legal in the U.S. The 2018 Farm Bill officially removed hemp as a controlled substance, allowing use of the banking system and the crossing of state lines for all hemp products, including CBD. CBD derived from marijuana, even though it is the same molecule as CBD from hemp, is federally illegal. Synthetic cannabinoids are a legal gray area, but ill-advised due to FDA warnings and other reasons. How can CBD be available? On one end, we have A as a whole plant extract, which means not just CBD, but the full spectrum of cannabinoids and other phytochemicals such as flavonoids and terpenes. It's almost like juicing a hemp plant. At the other end of the spectrum, we have B, the isolate, which is a crystallized powder of pure cannabidiol. There are some in-between products that are not full spectrum and not pure isolate as well. Full spectrum is generally the preferred way to benefit from CBD due to the synergistic natural effect the compounds of the whole plant have in acting together, called the entourage effect. The isolate of pure CBD would be the preferred way to study the effects of CBD independent of the whole plant. Why would you want CBD? The best place to start answering that question is the U.S. patent 6630507, Cannabinoids as Antioxidants and Neuroprotectants. This U.S. patent was issued to the Department of Health and Human Services in 2003 and says, Cannabinoids have been found to have antioxidant properties. This newfound property makes cannabinoids useful in the treatment and prophylaxis, which means prevention, of a wide variety of oxidation-associated diseases, such as ischemic, age-related, inflammatory, and autoimmune diseases. 
And that's a big deal because chronic inflammation and oxidative stress are a major cause of age-related diseases and cancer. Cannabidiol has been identified as an emergent therapeutic strategy for lessening the impact of inflammation on oxidative stress. In fact, cannabidiol was compared with other antioxidants and cannabidiol was significantly more protective than either alpha-tocopherol, which is vitamin E, or ascorbate, which is vitamin C. So reason number one for why you would want CBD is its antioxidant, anti-inflammatory properties. So now we get to CBD's role in helping neuropathic nerve pain. Cannabidiol has been shown to inhibit neuropathic pain without diminishing nerve system function, which means CBD is not just sedating, it is helping nerve system physiology through reducing inflammation and oxidative stress. As also shown in this study of CBD's suppression of inflammation and neuropathic pain. My own clinical experience with CBD in one dozen patients with verified unresolved nerve pain, that means via nerve conduction tests or imaging studies, was that 11 of 12 significantly improved with 25 milligrams of CBD per day. Gabapentin, which is also known as Neurontin, is one of the most commonly prescribed medications for neuropathic pain. In comparing the safety of gabapentin or Neurontin with CBD, we have to consider the prescription form of CBD, which is Epidiolex, a highly concentrated cannabidiol extract of the cannabis plant. In clinical trials, 7 to 16 percent of Neurontin patients discontinued due to adverse reactions, whereas 2.7 percent of Epidiolex patients discontinued due to adverse reactions, and the Epidiolex dosage cited in the clinical trials was 10 times greater than that generally taken for non-prescription use, meaning adverse reactions from CBD at regular supplementation dosages are very unusual. So reason number two for why you would want CBD is its effectiveness and safety in providing support for neuropathic pain. Additionally, CBD has been shown to be helpful with other conditions as well, such as anxiety, depression, and nausea. So which is a great CBD product and why? The short answer in advance is hemp meds Real Scientific Hemp Oil Green Label Capsules, which comes in a 30 capsule bottle. And here are the reasons why this is one of the best CBD products. Number one, Hemp Meds is certified by the U.S. Hemp Authority, an industry organization promoting and recognizing the highest quality control and safety standards. Number two, hemp med sources their hemp-derived CBD from a certified organic farm in the Netherlands, which adheres to strict European Union standards. Number three, hemp med CBD products are triple lab tested. Each product is tested three times during production for safety and quality standards by ISO accredited independent labs which are testing for herbicides, pesticides, chemical fertilizers, mold, fungus, bacteria, and heavy metals, and to ensure purity, consistency, and accurate cannabinoid potency. Number four, Hemp Med's Green Label is the raw full-spectrum CBD product. Previously, the term entourage effect was presented, meaning the synergistic effect of CBD acting with other cannabinoids and plant phytochemicals. Because hemp med CBD is hemp derived, the THC content is 0.3% or less, but the green label CBD contains all the raw flavonoids and terpenoids found in the natural hemp plant along with 25 milligrams of CBD. 
Number five, Hemp Med's green label comes in capsule form. Capsules are the easiest way to get CBD because you don't need to measure servings as you would with a bottle or syringe of hemp oil. You can put them in your pocket or backpack and take them anytime it's convenient with or without food. And there's no unpleasant taste or smell to deal with as some people dislike with hemp oil. So each Green Label CBD 25 milligram capsule contains raw, unfiltered, full spectrum hemp oil and a 200 milligram formula of powdered turmeric root and white willow bark. Turmeric root contains curcuminoid compounds, including curcumin, which has been used for thousands of years as a medicinal herb for its own anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties. White willow bark has also been used for centuries as a natural pain reliever. The active ingredient is salicin, which acts as an anti-inflammatory agent in the body. The combination of 25 milligrams of CBD, full spectrum cannabinoids, turmeric with curcumin, and white willow bark with salicin synergistically provides safe, natural, and effective support for neuropathic pain. Which is in addition to CBD's interaction with the body's natural chemical messengers and receptors throughout the body to help regulate and balance many important physiological functions. If you would like more information on cannabidiol, hemp meds green label CBD capsules, and available discounts, see the link in the video description.